In this video, we're going to go over how to create a combined wired shock and door window sensor using a DW10 2 gig fin door window contact. The parts you'll need are obviously the DW10 and the wired shock, but since there aren't terminal blocks on the inside of the DW10, you'll also need to make use of the lead wires, which are originally packaged with the DW10. You'll also want to use some heat shrink tubing to cover the spliced connections. We've found that 3 32nd inch tubing is the best size for the wires involved. For the splices, you'll want to use a compact butt connector. You can typically find these from an electronics hardware supplier. You'll want to cut the DW10 wires to length and then peel them apart. Then strip away a third to half inch of sheathing at the end of the connectors. You'll then do the same on the connectors from the hardwire shock detector. Make sure to slide the heat shrink tubing before splicing the wires together. Slide one wire from your DW10 lead and one from your shock sensor into the connector. Then crimp with a pair of needle nose pliers. Give the wires a little tug to make sure that they're tight. Then you'll want to do the same with the other pair of conductors. Apply a source of directed heat to the shrink tubing until it is tight around the wires. Finally, slide the lead through the hole in the mounting plate of the DW10 and snap the connector into place. You can then close up the DW10 and program it into your panel. This has been Jason with Surety DIY. Thanks for watching.